Welcome to my Guatemala food tour. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about food in this amazing country. it already do check out my Guatemala guide because it will give you a lot of information that will make your stay absolutely amazing so whether it's related to money or getting around or you know, internet SIM card so do check it out now the link is above hello from Guatemala and I'm super excited to show you what this country has to offer in terms of food now luckily I know someone who is local and has given me some tips on what to look out for and not fall into the tourist trap that is not try to have just Mexican food or Peruvian or you know international food here so I'm really excited to show you what food in Guatemala is like I'm obviously gonna be trying international food and some other options because you can't just be eating the same thing every day so let's go start this beautiful tour of Guatemala and let's try all the exquisite food this country has to offer So, something interesting to try in Guatemala, Suvanik. It comes with three different meats. Let's see what it is like. So good. Some rice. You have to try this. This is tamales. It's basically corn stuffed with either beans or meat and it's sort of steamed in banana leaf. Absolutely fresh and nice. These are tayuyos, sort of the Mayan pizza and it's basically bread with stuff inside, frijoles or beans. And this is the sauce that it comes with. So you top it like this and you're done. Obviously it's not possible that you come to Guatemala and not try Mayan stuff. So I have boyos de chaya in front of me. It is basically these little corn balls mixed with chaya leaves, which I think is like chives. I'm not sure though. And cheese. So I'm quite intrigued what it is like. I mean, I like everything that's made with corn, which has been really amazing. Hmm. Well, the sauce makes it really nice as well as the cheese. Wow, something to try, definitely. Definitely a good idea. I gotta wait for my main now, which is also Mayan. Stay tuned. My main is here, and this is another Mayan dish called chalcum. It is made with three different types of meat and veggies and spices, and it comes with these condo little things i've actually never seen them before it's quite nice i've tried a little bit before sitting on the video so let's see what it is like to eat chalcum it has um the tomatoey flavor it's more like a stew and quite nice yeah, I'm gonna go finish this and we continue with the video. I'm sitting in a place called Rincon Tipico and it is in Antigua. And it's more like a no frills place if you wanna come have a local experience. So right when you walk in, you will see some ladies making these fresh tortillas and the chicken being roasted right in front of you. You just go order, you know, whatever you want. Um, it's usually to make things easier, order of the day. So today it's tapian, which is this soup, has this consistency, and it's really recommended by someone who's a local as, you know, something that's actually properly Guatemalan. So I'm gonna try it now. It's 
quite nice. It has a slightly um, smoky flavor, which is really nice. And the same thing goes for the chicken inside. Oh my god. This is so good. The second thing I ordered is this chicken, which is like being freshly grilled. And it looks really good, so I'm gonna go finish all of this because I'm really exhausted after walking around pretty much the whole morning. See you in a bit. Tonight it is some really yummy chicken soup with some veggies, avocados, rice, and a papaya juice. I mean, I can't get any healthier than this. Wow, look at that. Food for today is hilachas. This is a beef dish with a little bit of sauce and some potatoes. It usually comes with rice, avocado, and some tortillas. Hilachas. So when you're eating in Guatemala, don't order too much. I'm gonna show you what my starter and my soup looks like and luckily I didn't order a main. This is the seafood soup. Oh, this is huge. This is the soup and this is my hand for reference purposes. So it's like massive. And this is my starter. Don't order too much. I don't really think there are any specific breakfast dishes here. Um, I checked, but I couldn't find much on that. So it's usually just, you know, continental or American style or just with a, with a touch of local flavor with like tortillas and other things. But there are some really good options. There's a lot of healthy food trends here. So if you like to have like, you know, almond milk instead of normal milk or you want veggie or vegetarian or vegan options, there's plenty of that here, not just for breakfast, but like tons of everything that you see. There's a lot of vegan places here, a lot of vegetarian places and lots of options. So let me show you a few breakfasts that I had here and what you can have and then we move on to, you know, what else we can eat here in Guatemala. This is timbales, a local breakfast treasure that I accidentally discovered in Tikal. It's a soft fluffy pancake topped with a sauce with bacon, egg, cheese and spinach. Candied fruits are something interesting here in Central America and there's quite a few different options so do try some. I'm gonna try the coconut and a little bit of fig and I uh, think it's an orange with something on it. I can't really tell my Spanish is bad. A big advantage of being in a tropical country is you can get like lots of fruits and these are my favorite because they're super cheap it's like almost a dollar for one of these and it's clean clean and clean and it's super amazing ripe fruit do try it out this is horchata and it has become my favorite drink um, in such a short time it's made with a few different things like almonds and whatnot I don't know the exact ingredients but it makes for the perfect dessert it's really nice, it's really yummy, but do ask for it without ice, but cold. That's the best way to drink it. Really love it. You have to try this as well. So good. I love this. This is tea of Jamaica or hibiscus tea, and I've been drinking this a lot here in Guatemala, even in El Salvador because I like that the fact that most of it has no um, sugar, very less calories, and it kind of has this tangy cranberry-like taste, which I really like. So, yeah. Cheers to Jamaican tea. Okay, so I found this really interesting fruit called Hokote in Chichikastinango Market, and I was passing by an ice cream shop, and I found the Hokote ice cream. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna see if it actually tastes like the fruit. I fell in love with the fruit. It was like the love at first taste. 
Wow, actually pretty much like the fruit, actually a little less sweet than the fruit. So if you come here, if you see Hokote fruit or um, the ice cream, do give it a try. I really like this. So I'm going to go finish this one now. So this is something really interesting that you have to try. Sort of like street food, but more natural. These are fruits. So my favorite are the mangoes that you have with this. So this is how you get it with some lemon and some salt. And they're slightly unripened, so they're quite tangy. And you can just buy them from the ladies on the, on the street side. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> oh. They're laughing at me. But I love it. It's really nice and tangy. You should definitely try it. This is Pinolito, which is a little bit like horchata, but what's special is it has Ramon, which is the main Maya nut. It's kind of like a superfood. But if you don't care about that like I do, drink it because it's yummy. Oh. Especially during summer afternoons i have had a wonderful time eating around in guatemala it was very different than i actually thought and while you can get a lot of you know mexican and whatnot the food from guatemala is actually quite nice as well so i really hope you enjoyed going around with me there's one thing that i missed and i would recommend and that's to try kakik it's a it's a stew made with turkey and it's um definitely tried and if you go to kovan or if you are going to Antigua, you can definitely find it there. I missed it there and I'm regretting it. So I really hope you liked the video. I'll see you in another country eating my heart out. Uh, stay tuned until then and you have a beautiful day ahead. Mwah. Guys, this is Brown Boy Travels. Let me know what you think of the video in the comment section. If I missed something, please let me know. Also, give me some suggestions about your country. I will see you in the next video. Until then, you have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.